right here i sold the rest of my swing trades i had my realization what my false belief was that was holding me back from growing my ira and then i started day trading my roth ira and now we're back to some really nice exponential growth what's up traders welcome back so you might have seen this at the top left of my screen during one of my live trading sessions and thought to yourself hmm he's trading in a roth ira should i be trading in a roth ira too well in this video you're going to learn exactly why and how I trade in my Roth IRA, including one major false belief that I had that kept me away from trading in my Roth IRA sooner, which cost me a lot of taxes. On October 7th, I had zero dollars. Then I deposited a thousand. October 10th, I did the small account challenge where you see this consistent growth here with this Roth IRA in the unlimited account. And I I just rotated basically. Every time there was a settling period, I would use the other account. And then the next day I would use the other account. So that's how I was able to trade every day with a small account. So I did that for pretty much the whole entire small account challenge, which worked pretty nicely. But then I actually switched to day trading fully in my unlimited account. I fully funded that one to an unlimited margin account. So I was able to do all the trading I wanted in that account. I pivoted to swing trading during the bull market and I continued swing trading during the bear market, unfortunately. However, in this area, I had my realization what my false belief was that was holding me back from growing my IRA. I sold the rest of my swing trades and then I started day trading my Roth IRA and now we're back to some really nice exponential growth. This was the false belief that I had. And there's a really good article on Forbes Advisor that summarizes this point probably better than I could. So let's just scroll down here and it says, what is margin? trading. So you guys know you need margin to use leverage, to go short, and to give you zero settling period. So there's still that 48 hours of settling period before you get your cash back. But with margin, you can basically in a way use leverage. They just allow you to keep trading like there is no settling period. And that's really where the power is. I don't do any leverage trading. I almost never short, although sometimes I do buy puts. But the real thing I need a margin account for is that settling period. And that's why I didn't actually trade in my Roth IRA because I was always thinking, oh, okay, your Roth IRA, you can't use margin in your Roth IRA, which means that's a serious settling period. And that's why I only did swing trading in my Roth IRA. Now, sometime during this phase, I actually realized that that is false. That is not a true statement. And I kept on swing trading this account. And then at one point somewhere in this area, I was like, wait, I should be day trading in this account. So then I made basically the necessary changes. And at one point when I closed out the rest of my swing trades, I made the pivot. So if you come down here, you'll see that conventional margin trading is not allowed with Roth IRAs. You can't use margin and you can't short, but there's limited margin, right? And here it says it's limited margin is essentially an advance on payments from sold securities. This is exactly that settling period we were just talking about. There is no settling period. When you upgrade your Roth IRA to a margin account, it's still called a margin account, at least on my broker it is, but ultimately it's just a limited margin account. It's for folks who trade frequently. If they buy a stock today and they decide to sell it later today to buy something else, typically wouldn't be allowed to do that. But now with this kind of margin, the limited margin, you're able to do that. So I can day trade in my Roth IRA. How amazing is that? Now, remember, you still need that $25,000 balance in your Roth IRA, which means you could spend a little over four years putting $6,000 a year into your Roth IRA, which is obviously very, very slow. Or you can learn a strategy like the one that I use and I trade every day. The markets are open live with you guys to hopefully grow an account a little bit quicker. I'm really anti using leverage when it comes to trading. I think that's a really good, sure way to blow an account. And if you do want to get more aggressive and you want to leverage up or trade more aggressively, you can still trade options on your margin account. You can still short stocks by buying puts. So in a way, everything you can do with a margin account, you can kind of do with a limited margin account. And that's the thing I didn't know. I didn't realize there was a limited margin account. So I always just viewed IRAs as cash accounts with a settling period. And that always kept me away from day trading in it. And that's the limiting belief that once I realized it, boom, 
blue skies from there. If you guys want more details on Roth IRAs, including what Meet Kevin and Dave Ramsey think about Roth IRAs, check out this video that I made. I'll link it somewhere up here. I would love to know if you're trading in a Roth IRA. There's a survey right below this video. Are you trading in a Roth IRA? Are you not trading in a Roth IRA? And do you plan to switch to trading in a Roth IRA? And if you don't plan on trading in a Roth IRA, please let me know in the comments below what's holding you back. So the thing is, even after learning this powerful tax saving trick on how to use the Roth IRA, you still have a problem. You'll need a strategy to grow the account. Luckily for you, I've grouped that information together as well. Check out this video where I break down my most profitable strategy to really get the results you want.